Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In recent months I've significantly increased my use of Obsidian for data management and visualization. And this also includes using it to monitor my finances with a community plugin called Ledger. This plugin allows you to track and strategize your personal finances directly from your Obsidian Vault by preserving all your data in plain text. And it offers interoperability with any tool that supports the Ledger command line interface. In this video, I'll guide you through the setup process and demonstrate how to use it. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. Let's start by installing the plugin. So, go to Settings, Community Plugin, Browse, and search for Ledger. Install and enable. Now click on options and here you can customize the currency symbol that for me is the euro symbol, the name of your ledger file and since the plugin uses different accounts to group expense types here you can modify the account prefixes. You can group accounts by following a hierarchy you just need to add a colon between each account name. You can also refer to an account by using an alias and I will show you where you can set that. Now, if you open the command palette with command T or control T, you'll discover three ledger commands. However, before proceeding with the ledger, I recommend starting from the dashboard. Upon opening it for the first time, an introductory tutorial will present itself. I just keep it since I'm going to show you everything you need to start using ledger. Here on the left, you have the account's name. And if you want to view their transactions and balance, you just need to click on them. In this section, you have the ability to adjust the interval at which transactions are aggregated. You can select between daily, weekly, and monthly. Additionally, you can define the date range that includes the transactions you are interested in. Now that you are familiar with the dashboard, if you click on the pencil icon on the top right, you can see your ledger file in raw text mode. Here you can find some helpful tips, and as you can see, this is also the place where you can set your aliases. So the very first thing to do is to set our starting balance right here. You can add any bank account or credit card that you want. So let's add two banks and a credit card. Now we can click on the three dots on the top right and click on open as ledger file. And here you can see our starting balance and on the top left our account. If you select the accounts, they will appear here inside the chart. To add a transaction, you can click here on the ribbon menu icon or you can open the command palette and search for add to ledger. In this window, you just need to insert the details for a new transaction. For example, let's say that we want to add our salary transaction. Now, since ledger is a double entry accounting system, in order to write a transaction correctly, we must determine where the money comes from and where it goes to. For example, when we receive a salary, we must add money to our bank account and also subtract it from an income account. So, in this case, we need to add an income transaction. Insert the amount, give it a name, and click on Next. Here, we need to add our asset account and the income account that can be something like income, column, salary. Click on submit and here we can see our transaction. I can also see it from the chart. Now let's say that I want to register an expense transaction regarding the car insurance payment. Here I write the cost, let's say 250 euros. Here I write car insurance and I click on next. Inside the expense split, I write E, that if you remember is the alias for expense, colon, and insurances. And inside the asset split, I select the first bank since I paid the insurance with this bank account. I click on submit. And now I have my transaction registered. And lastly, you can also register transfer between accounts. Let's say that you want to transfer 800 euros from the first bank to the second bank. Insert the amount. 
click on next and here you insert the account now if you click on submit you will instantly see the change inside the chart and the transaction has been added right here and that's all for today this is a simple and secure system to keep track of your personal finances without sharing your sensitive financial information with potentially untrustworthy online sites. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.